Greetings, and welcome to episode 49. In today's episode, we'll be discussing figuring it out and what that means or should mean, I guess. It, 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 just give me a chance to explain. Uh, you'll, you'll get it. I got it. We'll get it. <laughs> anyway, if we're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, figuring it out. <laughs> First of all, let me explain that. The reason why you can't figure it out is because you're trying to figure it out. <laughs> I've noticed that when you stop trying to figure it out, it all just comes to you. And the trick is you have to be paying attention. When you're looking for it, it's like looking for your nose out there. Where's my nose? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, there it is. As soon as you stop looking for it, now this thing on your face itches. And wow, look, my nose. You know, uh, it's something It's different for everyone because it depends on what aspects of life you're trying to figure out. Some people are trying to figure out the whole thing, which is, I think, impossible to do in one lifetime. But it is possible to figure out certain aspects of your life, many aspects of your life, in one lifetime. Uh, a friend of mine recently just discovered ultimate happiness. She spent, what, she's 25, 26, she spent uh, uh, most of her life thinking that she had to figure it out and then she'd be happy. And then she stopped looking for the answers to figure it out and poof she became happy and then she figured it out <laughs> so it seems to happen and, it, and I can I can vouch for that it seems to happen when you're not looking for it the answers just they come to you you have to be happy you can't figure out happiness you have to just be happy you can't some things just have to be experienced how can you say I want I want when you can't describe to the universe what it is that you want I want to be happy I want to be smart I want to be witty well what do these things mean to you if you don't understand that yourself you'll spend your whole life trying to figure it out and never find it but the minute you stop trying to figure it out and discover or someone else discovers for you hey you're pretty witty oh wow never thought of that you know never saw it that way I just thought I was being mean or, or you know you know what I mean or or cynical or sarcastic or whatever but you stop trying to figure it out you stop trying well what is what what does being wise mean to you there's many types of wisdom you want to be wise maybe you already are Wisdom comes with experience, so all that time you spent looking, look at all that experience you've gained looking for wisdom. <laughs> and I'm not saying stop looking, I'm saying stop looking out there. Just let life happen, so to speak. I mean, have your plans and, you know, follow your whatever routine you're used to. But stop being so afraid that you don't have the answers or won't get the answers because the answers you probably already have them I've been on the planet 40 years it'd be pretty silly to think that I haven't come up with a few answers maybe I'm just asking the question wrong and I've figured that out before too but when I spoke to my friend and this just happened today matter of fact I have never I've known her for years and I've never seen her this happy ever and it just the vibe came across as I finally get it I finally get it and I'm like well you figured it out and also the 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 feeling intimated was that 
I had to stop trying to figure it out to figure it out. <laughs> and so I'm trying to project back, I told you. <laughs> That's the way it works. <laughs> you're not going to figure it out until you stop trying to figure it out. Because you're trying, the reason why it doesn't work, trying to figure it out. Because you're trying to put the universe into your unique, or should I say, your narrow, albeit unique point of view, perspective. Until that, and it doesn't, I'm not trying to say you're narrow minded. I'm trying to say that if you lack the understanding to know that you probably already understand, then you probably are not getting the full view of what's going on. Do you understand? You're trying to say, I'm looking for this, and I assume if you don't, if you haven't ever seen it before, because you're looking for it, and if you're looking for it, that means you haven't ever seen it before, you're telling the universe that I'm looking for this, this little narrow field. And what if that little narrow field doesn't exist, but everything else beyond it does? So while you're telling the universe, this is what I'm looking for, but you've never seen it, so you really don't even know what it is you're looking for. The universe is like, what? <laughs> How am I going to get you this information? You're only willing to see it through this little lens right here. And as soon as you stop looking, those walls come down. And then the answer comes in. When you're not even looking. It, it, it happens when you'll, you'll know it. Just in contemplation of your everyday experiences, you'll know that oh, this is what I was looking for. And, it, and it'll strike you instantly. This is nothing like what I expected it to be. I expected uh, a struggle. I expected I had to fight for it. I expected to blah, 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 blah. Because we're told that nothing in life is free. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> Most things in life cost something, but there are some things that are free. It, quote unquote, is free. <laughs> and figuring it out, yeah, most times that happens on accident. <laughs> so yeah, that's free too. It's, it's really amazing. It's amazing to watch one of my younger friends come into their own, or any friend for that matter, come into their own and, and to know in my heart that I know that they've been looking for this. And they just couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. Because they could only see what they were looking for through their own little perspective, their own narrow little lens. And then when it happened, it was so much broader than what could fit in their tiny little perception of it that it just, it overwhelmed them in a good way, but it was overwhelming and just, it, it does me really good to see this person that happy. <coughs> but it made me want to make a video about figuring it out because all these years she's been trying to figure it out and she couldn't because she didn't know what she was looking for she knew what she was looking for but she had no idea what it looked like and when I say looked like I don't necessarily mean the visual representation of it she didn't know what it felt like she didn't know what it felt like to have it happen to her she only knew what it felt like to have it happen to somebody else she didn't know what it felt like physically, emotionally, mentally, none of that. That's what I mean by she didn't know what it looked like. But then if you notice, when you're in a certain experience, and yes, our feeling guides what we see, because we see what we are, so what she's feeling, why she couldn't see it, is because she's in it. 
and it's bigger than her and someone she was able to get with someone that was able to pull her out of the center and say here look you have it and instantly the lens becomes so much broader and you figure it out you figure out that the answer was there the whole time it just wouldn't fit into my little lens how can you tell the universe what you're after when you don't know what it is when you you know what to call it you know that you know what to call it but you don't know what it is you don't you've never felt it you've never experienced it you've only seen it happen to others so you assume that it's gonna happen to you the same way it happened to, to Susie and Timmy but Susie and Timmy aren't you but it, and if you remember correctly it didn't happen to Susie the way it happened to Timmy so why would it happen to you the way it happened to them and this isn't isn't just relationships this is anything finding your dream job finding that dream car you know just having a good day finding happiness wisdom love whatever if you don't know what it looks like you can't explain it to the universe to get the answers you're looking for it's not like buying a car car company makes a certain model that's what you're after every model no matter who buys it every making every model of year of that particular vehicle is going to look like that each vehicle has its own quirks and will drive slightly different, but you get exactly the same thing. Not the same thing. It is not a cookie cutter universe. Because had you been tasked with designing that car, you might have come up with a different design. Haha, -ha, you see what I'm getting at? So what if when you order a vehicle from a company, it comes in the vision you would have made? everyone's car would be different everyone's driving a Nissan XL but every same year built on the same damn day but it since it's built to your specifications of what you think it should look like it's gonna look different and so here's the thing Timmy's driving around in his Nissan XL and you're like yeah that's what I want and the universe is like I but that's not how you see things. How am I supposed to get you what you want? Because if I get you that, you're going to be pissed because it's exactly what Timmy's driving and you want your version. <laughs> so the universe is going to hold off because the universe isn't stupid. You are the universe and the universe is you. So the universe already knows how this is going to play out and no, we're just not going to do it. <laughs> you're not getting your car until you figure it out. Well, you can't figure it out until one day you're driving along in your old rust bucket because you can't find your car. And you see this awesome vehicle and you're like, whoa, that is exactly how I would design it. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> that's so not like Timmy's, but it, that is exactly what I... And then you go and you look and that is, that's, that's, it's mine. That's the one I... That's the one I made. <laughs> and there it is. When you stopped trying to figure it out, you found it. It's cool like that sometimes. So I exercise. If you, you decide you want something, you want information about something, you want to experience something, first decide how you would experience that how you would experience that don't ponder Susie's experience of it don't ponder Timmy's experience of it ponder your own experience of it how would that feel to win a million dollars how would that feel to be deeply in love with someone that's deeply in love with me how would that feel? Not based on what I saw on TV, not based on what Timmy and Susie are doing, but how would that feel for me? If you don't know, universe doesn't know either. 
and the universe is going to say, I have a pretty good idea, <laughs> but you're not going to see it because you're just looking through this, this tiny little lens, when it's so much bigger, and then one day you'll not be looking for it, and I don't know, I don't know, is it something in us that just expands rapidly? Or does it just happen to us? And we just don't have the choice because we are creatures of experience. And we're not going to put up a lens to analyze the experience until afterwards. That's the way we work. We'll go through the experience and then, you know, we'll have our little, uh, uh, you know, during the experience, it's like, whoa, okay, I got this. But then after the experience, we'll sit and analyze it. It's that when we figure out that, oh, that's it. Or is it when we share it with others? When we share the experience with others, whether it's the people that are in the experience with you, or when you're telling somebody about the experience later, did they point it out? Or is it just in the telling it that you're hearing yourself talk and your lens is, you know, it's like your eyes opening to your own experience because now it's, you're putting it in verbal form. And whoa, this is it. This is it. People are so scared, wishful thinking, too good to be true. How is it too good to be true? If you wanted it, placed an order for it, and ended up getting it. If I call Amazon and order a fucking a book, and that book shows up, that's not too good to be true, is it? Is it? No, I don't think so. I ordered it, and it shows up. It should show up, right? Yeah. So if you order love from the universe and it shows up you can't say well that's too good to be true no you ordered that take it <laughs> stop trying to figure it out well hold on let me see how, how did that get here does it matter you ordered it it's here <laughs> but it doesn't look like what i thought it would look like and that's the thing right there that's how we miss it it doesn't look like i what i would picture it doesn't look like what you would picture because your picture of it is based on what you saw on television or in a movie or Susie or Timmy or John or whoever. It's not based on your own experience of it because you've never experienced it or you think you've never experienced it. And sometimes by the time you, sometimes figuring it out isn't a good process. Sometimes it's a negative. Sometimes it's in hindsight that we realize, oh, I had it and I fucked it all up. Wow. How many of us have that? That that perfect 2020 vision because now instead of being in the moment and we're doing this because we didn't see, because we can only see what our, our, our tiny little lens, the parameters that we've set, and then in looking back, we're viewing that situation with the lens of our current level of experience which is a little bit broader so now when you're looking back you're like oh I had exactly what the fuck I wanted you're still figuring it out it's just not a positive moment <laughs> I've got plenty of those <laughs> but I've got quite a few of the of the of the positive ones too and I'm pleased to say a lot of them happened with the woman I'm married to now. Even the negative ones. <laughs> because you get to a point and you realize if it's something that you're thinking, I've been trying to avoid this my whole life and you look back at all the times that you've avoided it and it turned out that I've been trying to avoid this my whole life and it turns out it's a good thing or I've been looking for this my whole life it turns out I've had it two three four times before but didn't realize it because I'm looking for something different I, I was looking for something fictitious based on television or I was looking for the Timmy and Susie version of it and their version of it isn't my version of it 
And if you, like I keep saying, or like I said earlier, if you look at Timmy and Susie's version of it, Timmy's version is different from Susie's version. So why wouldn't your version be different from theirs? What you believe is wi ooh, excuse me, is wisdom, some people might think is irrelevant. So wisdom isn't the same for everyone. Knowledge isn't the same for everyone. Love and the interpretation thereof isn't the same for everyone. People say, if you loved me, you would X. Well, you do the same thing for you. You have the same rules for you. If I really love her or him, I would do X. What if that's not how it works? Maybe it's your little lens, your X, that's fucking it up. Or I could never because I've been hurt. Not only are you putting it in a small lens, but you've now shrunk the lens even smaller. Someone's got to fit through there to get to you. Think about that. Someone's got to fit through that little narrow corridor to get to you. I just pictured Luke Skywalker flying through the trench trying to go right into the thing. <laughs> On the Death Star. That's what you do to people. That's what you do to the universe. And then hopefully that lucky motherfucker gets in there and you figure it out. <laughs> Use the force. No, slow down. Be patient. You can figure it out by figuring you out. It is you. Think about it. It is you. Whatever you're looking for, it is you. And you're spending all your whole trying to figure you out. Figure you out. Why isn't this working? Because you're using somebody else's lens, somebody else's perception to try to see you. You can't see you out there. You is in here. You isn't what they project onto you. You were already in there. Try to dig down and see which one of those is you and how you react to the information you provide. I.e., what do I like? How do I, ex how, how do I experience things? And you can even do this. How do I experience things versus how they experience things versus how I saw it on television? And for the love of God, please bear in mind that everything you see on television is for entertainment purposes and is by no means real. <laughs> so you can't go by that. You may be able to relate to some things you see on TV. But you are not on TV. You are in here. And, uh, and uh, something that goes a long way, and I think she figured this out, she was too busy being happy to think to herself, I don't deserve this. My friend was too busy being happy to think that this is too good to be true. And the lens stayed open. And, because that's what happens. As soon as you say it's too good to be true, you go right back down to here. And you could become, you're standing at the threshold, about to cross over, and then suddenly, this is too good to be true. The lens shrinks back down, and you're a thousand miles away again. But when you find yourself in, like, the situation she's in, or the situations I've been in, and if you think about it, think back, the situations you've been in, how many times did you screw it up by thinking, oh, this is too good to be true. Oh, this never happens to me. Or some negative thing that drew your perception back in because this is fun and all, but it's not happening the way I'm accustomed to. It's not what the TV show. It's not what Timmy and Susie and Johnny and, and Jill and Jack and whoever's going through. They showed me what it's like. They showed you what it's like for them. And they showed you what it's like for entertainment purposes, what it looks like. It looks like drama and stress. No, that's what it looks like on TV. Because other people's drama and stress is entertaining for some reason. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
but yet you already have it. Or you have already had it. You just don't recognize it yet. And the minute you recognize it, that's when you figure it out. And what's, what's even funnier is you'll figure out that you already had the information. So you didn't even really need to figure it out. You just had to realize that you already had your answers. You already had your love. You already had your wisdom. You already had your knowledge. Whatever it is you were looking for, you already had it. You just didn't realize it because you're like, doesn't look like this. Doesn't look like this. How about now? <laughs> it's not supposed to look like any particular thing. Just experience it and decide once it hits your senses, your ultimate sense, do I enjoy this? Don't. Was this what I was looking for? Just do I enjoy this? Yes. Continue on. No. Divert. <laughs> pull up. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> but if you enjoy, genuinely enjoy what's going on, the knowledge you've acquired, the wisdom you've acquired, the love you've acquired, if you're genuinely enjoying it, if you're genuinely into this moment, you're there. You figured it out. You don't know it yet until you you're talking to someone and you explain it or maybe you're thinking back to another time wow you know I was already here before but I didn't believe I was here so I moved on or kept going or destroyed a good thing on accident because I didn't believe that this was what I was looking for I think that that is the thing it's not necessarily self-sabotage. It's that when we get what we want, we don't realize we have what we want because we don't really know what what we want looks like because of all of the outside input. And we're looking to other people's experiences to shape our own experience as opposed to having our own experience. <laughs> We are experiencers. We're supposed to be experiencers, but we seem to be living vicariously through our favorite stars, our favorite relatives, our favorite friends. I'll never be that good or that happy. I'll just feed off of their happiness like a fucking leech or a sponge and just pick up the crumbs of their happiness. That, I don't think that's going to sustain you for very long. And if it sustains you this long, you need to eat. <laughs> you need to find some place to get the mental, emotional, or physical sustenance you're after. Because crumbs off of somebody else ain't cutting it. Because going through life looking through that little lens, thinking you're going to be happy, that's ludicrous. Well, it doesn't look like my favorite person, how their life is going. This can't be it. Yes, yes it is. Stop, you're not them. Stop trying to filter your life through their life. <laughs> Figuring it out. You've already figured it out. How many things did you destroy? Or just let fade away? because you didn't know you had what you were looking for you didn't realize it and once you realize it don't make a huge deal out of it I mean to yourself you could be like wow but don't try to rationalize it that's the that's another thing. Don't rationalize it. Just enjoy it. That's what an experience is for. Well, let's break it down. No, don't break it down. That's kind of how you ruined it the last time. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to do is break it down. So, get to know you. Get to know you. 
As well as you think you know your best friend or your favorite star, the people you're willing to filter your life through, get to know yourself as well as you think you know those people. Because you're looking at their life thinking, I wish I had that and that's what I want. And my filters get ever so smaller because I'm filtering through other people and other and entertainment on the TV and now it's tiny and now... You don't know what they're actually going through. For all you know, they're miserable. But they put on a good show. <laughs> but that's what you want. And so then when you get that, you're like, well, I don't understand why it's not working. It's working exactly the way you want it to. Through that tiny little lens. <laughs> Broaden your horizon. Expand your wisdom. And, the, and it's funny that these things happen automatically through the experience. Don't filter the experience through someone else's experience. Let the experience happen. And then go from there. It took my friend years to figure that out. And granted, she's still young. But she's got something she's been looking for for years because she didn't know what it looked like. And finally, someone came along that wasn't trying to prove anything to her and she got it and you know how I know she got it because she told me point blank I haven't felt like this since I was 20 which means she's been there before but she was either a afraid to look for that particular item or didn't realize she had the item she wanted until now that she's reacquired. What's this, uh, the perfect saying? There's a song. Who wrote the song? Uh, I'm a child of the 80s, so forgive me. Cinderella wrote a song. Don't know what you got till it's gone. And that's it. Sometimes you don't even know what you got until you reacquire it later. And then you're like, wow, I had this once before and it was awesome. And usually at that point when we figure it out, we endeavor to never fuck that up again. <laughs> <laughs> and some people still run through their lives with the filter of other people's experience and fuck it up again. And fuck it up again. Hell is repetition. Repeating the same action, expecting different results is the height of lunacy. But that we do that until we figure it out. Hell is repetition. We will keep continuing these cycles until we see that, oh, there's another way. Granted, it just starts a new cycle, but at least it's different bullshit this time. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, figuring it out. Odds are you've already figured it out. You just don't realize it yet. And you won't realize it yet uh, 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 until it comes up again. Second, third, fourth time. So, what have we learned today? One, you probably already know the information you seek. Two, you don't realize you know the information you seek because you're trying to know somebody else's information. Three, you know somebody else's information because you like them and you hold them in such high regard that you're filtering your entire life, your experience, through them. And if it doesn't happen like it happened to them, you don't even bother documenting it. You don't document it mentally, physically, or emotionally. Because it doesn't happen the way their life happened. Four, the most important thing we figured out today, knock your shit off. <laughs> You're going to find it. You probably, like I said, you've probably already found it. Just relax. Stop trying to figure it out. And it'll come to you. But that's it for today's show because we're about over the 30 minute mark. Very good show, I think. Very upbeat. And uh, covered a lot of ground in a short amount of time. I was running on that one.
digging for it. Yeah, that was a good one. Anyway, if you like this show, this video, please click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. Please leave comments down below. I would like to have a discussion with you. I would like to see how you feel about what I'm discussing. I want to see your take on it. Because there could be things I'm missing. Not to mention, I want to hear about your experience. Because I'm out here putting my experiences on the line. And you're thinking, wow, that's so cool. But I'm warning you against filtering your life through mine. Compare it to, maybe, but don't filter it through. You can avoid this by putting your experience in the comments. And then we can share ideas. Instead of you saying, but I like your ideas. So incorporate the ideas. Don't filter your life through mine. Is it happening like it happened? No, it's never going to happen to you like it happens to me, ever. So keep documenting each one of your experiences. They're valid. Just because it didn't happen like it happened to me. Your experience is still valid. Anyway, excuse me, if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, then please hit the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there.